perfectly androgynous little creatures, how are you today? My name is Scarlet Stalet and I'm here holding it down this Monday and every Monday on Perfect Androgyny. So first things first, I totally have new contact lenses and I'm fucking in love with them, what do you think? Mm. Alright, so let's jump into this week with addressing the ladies. So Joseph, I know that you've been so fucking uber busy lately because of everything going on in your life. You're releasing your brushes, you've recently won that makeup contest, you're doing shit all the time. You're doing makeup on drag queens, running around doing interviews and shit. Bitch, I am so happy for your success and everything that's happening with you in your life right now. Hard work pays off, and you're clearly a hard worker, bitch, and that just has always shown in your body of work. Yeah, Joe, I just wish you much success, and bitch, I just, you know, keep it together. I saw where you talked about that bullshit about you're gonna quit drinking after this month. We'll, we'll see about that, bitch. So yeah, Joe, much love for you, bitch. You keep on keeping on, bitch. Alright, so next up on my list is Mrs. Lidere. Me and Lee have both kind of vented to each other in the past about the challenges of doing something like Perfect Androgyny and having to post a video every single week. And it's not like that's necessarily hard, but what's hard about it is how we do it here on Perfect Androgyny because it's like every single fucking week you gotta be in fucking full face. You gotta have a fucking look. You gotta have your fucking editing on and your lighting and your solid goddamn background. And it's just so goddamn exhausting you guys Ooh. so yeah Lee I saw where you were talking about you didn't know like how you felt about like doing YouTube videos and shit anymore and bitch I understand I know how it goes but you know don't let those bad moments outweigh your good moments because looking back on your body of work is always so gratifying especially when you had to work your fucking ass off to do it you know I love having you on this channel Lee because I just think that you are so unique and you're genuinely really talented and I just really like you. Miss Arabia, Arabia my bitch, my girl, what's up bitch, how you doing? Now me and Arabia go way back, so like, I mean, we talk all the fucking time anyway, so I don't even really have anything to say to her besides the fact that you look fucking gorge, like every single week, like, you're just looking extra gorge here lately. I see you, boo. Last up on my list is Miss Natazlia. Natazlia said this in a video a while back, but me and her are like, we are just alike. We are like the same person, and we really are. Our sense of humor, our demeanor, is like so, so fucking similar. One night in the future, Natazlia, me and you, we are gonna meet, we are gonna get fucking drunk and stoned and go out and fucking tear the city down in an introverted kind of way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that wraps up everything that I had to say to the lady boys. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump in here and talk about animal rights. I know you motherfuckers can't wait to go ham in the comment section. <sighs> Alright, so my views on animal rights. I'm really for animal rights. But I will say this. I'm a fur lover. And I've even watched those like... PETA propaganda films that show you like how cattle slaughterhouses are. And I watched one... Um, a few years back that was on the annual Canadian seal hunt that literally had my ass crying like a bitch on my couch. God damn it, that fucked me up so bad. Like when you see like a fashion designer or something like Gucci or Versace and they have fur on one of their jackets, I can't help but kind of like ugh, cringe it just because after watching that annual Canadian seal hunt video, God damn it. I don't own any fur at all, but I'm very pro faux fur. It doesn't have to be real or fake. I don't give a fuck. As long as the aesthetic is there, I'm totally here for it. Yeah, that's, that's just all I have to say on it. I, I don't really have anything too deep or elaborate to add to it. So yeah, girl, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure that you follow my motherfucking ass across all social networking medias. You can find the links for all that down below in the description box. And until I see your ass next week, I want you to take care, alright? Goodbye.